Hello, my name is Bernadette Devi Kalista. You can call me Devi. I take Bachelor of Culinary Arts in Berjaya University. In this video, I would like to present you about fish. Um, what is fish? Fish is a limbless cold blood vertebrate animal with fields and genes living in water. Fish has very little connective tissue. This is one of the most important difference between fish and meat. It means that fish cooks very quickly, even at low heat. Fish is naturally tender, are used to not to create tenderness but to preserve moistness and provide variety. Cooked fish must be handled very carefully or it will fall. Fish have protein, fat, carbohydrate, water, mineral, and vitamins such as vitamin A, B1, B2, and B3.
so touristy right now. That's all we had, we got two of these things. Flounder. Oh, that's not like it's not part of us. <laughs> What's this? Freestyle or something? Did you, did you record him do it? I'm gonna cut here. It's still, it's still recording. to interview Chef Malcolm. Fish, right? For fish, um, it's an ingredient which needs or requires a lot of respect and care. Um, there's so many types of fish around. Uh, normally, you have, basically, you have two categories: you have round fish and flat fish, freshwater and seawater. Um, the tricky thing about fish is that they have very less connective tissue. Therefore, it's very delicate. It's not like meat. Um, cooking temperatures is different. Cooking time is different also. Internal cooking temperature for fish or seafood is also very different. Uh, we have oily fish, we have a lot of fatty fish also. Salmon is a good example of a fatty fish. Um, different techniques to use on fish alone is plenty. You have poaching, you have baking, pan frying, papillot, you have deep frying, batter them and deep fry. You have whole roasting whole fish, you can poach whole fish, you can saute, you can make stews out of them, you can make fricassees, so many things you can do with seafood. Um, seafood normally, there's a little law, they say that acid like lemon goes well with seafood, which is true. Acidity like lemon, lime go very well with fish, but it's not always the case. It depends what fish you use, what cooking technique you apply also, and how big your cut is of your fish also. But it is a very common pairing acid and uh, fish, lemon, limes, but you can use a lot of cream also, butter, you can substitute the acid from lemons and limes with capers, you can substitute with uh, any pickles like pickled onions, pickled cabbage, anything like that. And um, in a way, it's a very, how would I say, people think it's expensive. Okay. People say seafood expensive, fish expensive, um, but it also you have cheap fish also. It's an overrated item sometimes, like salmon, codfish. Here in Malaysia, it might be expensive, 
that's because um, it's considered an imported fish. But over in Europe, salmon and codfish is dirt cheap. They use codfish for fish and chips in England. So that's why, that's our misconception about it. We have a lot of very good local fish here in Malaysia also. We have catfish, we have our sea bass, our siaka, our snackers here are all local also. So it's not necessarily need to be expensive. Students at home can use cooking fish also, it's very cheap. Okay, of course you buy salmon and other types it's expensive, like the barabandi. It's okay. Okay, so fresh fish. Fresh fish, um, the same technique you apply to them as seawater fish also. But a lot of fresh fish, they use a lot of steaming. It's good also. It locks in all the flavor. You don't lose too much flavor from it. Chinese do a lot of steaming. They have the soy sauce with the ginger all inside there. Um, the anatomy of a fish is a uh, it's simple to butcher compared to a cow or a lamb only because there's not many bones inside a fish. Okay, it's only the spinal bone that goes on with the ribs bone. Um, the anatomy is just the lateral line, the dorsal fins, pectoral fins, gills. So it's a fairly simple item to butcher when you're a cook or a chef. Um, you just have fillet two sides if it's a round fish and one side is a flat fish. So dealing, butchering or filleting a uh, fish is fairly simple because the anatomy is not many bones uh, compared to beef you know, or lamb. Um, flavors, like I said earlier on, lemon, lime, pickled items, butter, cream, anything you pair with fish as long as it tastes good. As long as it tastes good, it's all right. How we know the fish is fresh or not? Um, how to determine whether the fish is fresh is by looking at the eyes. If the eyes are dull and they look opaque, they're not fresh. If it's clear and bright, it's fresh. There's a few ways. The gills, if you open up the gill flaps, if it's bright red, it's fresh. If it's maroon, dark red, it's not fresh. Um, scales and the flesh itself, if you press it, if the depression stays there, it's not fresh. If you press it and it bounces back up, it's fresh. Um, then you rely on your senses, your smell. If it smells fishy or a bit ammonia, then it's no good. And if it smells like nothing, then it's good. It shouldn't smell fishy, it should smell like nothing. And um, basically you use all your senses up, your sight. You don't hear, but your sight, your touch, your smell, you use it to determine if a fish is fresh or not. And um, what else? Okay. Okay, that's all about fish with Chef Malcolm. Thank you, Chef Malcolm, Thank about you. your explaining. Uh, see you. Thank you. Quality characteristic. First, clear eyes. Second, red juice. Third, fresh aroma. Fourth, film flesh. Fifth, moist and shiny with tight flakes. The last, no belly burn. Quality freshness points for fish should be purchased daily, should be well iced, browned on the bone or filleted, medium sized fish are usually better, and appearance is better. Food value for fish Oily fish Contain fat soluble vitamins A and D in their flesh and omega 3 fatty acid. Flesh of white fish doesn't contain any fat. Vitamin A and D are only present in the cod liver or halibut liver oil. Small bones in a sardine, white baits, and thin salmon provide the body with calcium and phosphor. Oily fish isn't so digestible as wet fish, not suitable in cooking for invalids. 